Let us talk about time delay. Now let us assume that the time interval is one minute. Then what we are saying is X protein concentration one minute ago is affecting current Y protein concentration. But what if this protein activation process takes 20 minutes? So when X protein becomes available, Y protein will not become available after one minute, but after 20 minutes. Now, this equation is saying that X protein concentration 20 minutes ago is affecting the current Y protein concentration. For example, if I is 0, that means YI is affected by X protein minus 20. If I is 20, that means Y of 20 is affected by x of 0. So basically, we can incorporate this concept of time delay into our difference equation in this fashion. Considering time delay, we can have a general equation for simple 2 gene regulatory network. So y of i is equal to a sub 1 x i minus 1 plus a sub 2 x i minus 2 plus a sub m x i minus m plus b sub 1 y i minus 1 plus b sub 2 i i minus 2. So here we have x terms and our model is telling us that all these x protein concentration values are affecting current y protein concentration. And we also have these y values and all this previous Y protein concentration is affecting the current Y protein concentration. And the magnitude of each contribution is represented by these permeable values.